What's up everybody? This is Mommy Wata and I am back with the channel message. I hope everyone is doing good and staying safe, that you enjoyed your weekend. Okay, hello to all of my subscribers, old and new. Thank you so much for joining me here on my channel. Please continue to tap in energetically as you have been doing because I've been getting so many downloads this weekend. I tried to take a weekend off, but they was like, no, we ain't letting you, okay? <laughs> so, one of the downloads that I received this weekend was, there is a masculine who is doing spell work to stop his ex-lover from having a partner. And I picked up on something like this a while back. So, I just want to see. I picked up on it again this weekend. So, I just want to see what's going on with that. Holy Spirit, and, it, and it's like hovering. So, Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for us regarding this energy? There's a masculine who is putting some form of love magic, spell work, sex magic on one of his ex-lovers because he does not want her to have success and love with anyone else. What's happening with this situation, Holy Spirit? He does not want her to celebrate with anyone else. So he's he's causing delays, issues, mental confusion here. Let's go. Holy Spirit, what we have, I can't make it up. We got a King of Swords out here. And this King of Swords is trying to get justice. But his form of justice is cutting this feminine from celebrating from somebody from with people every time she goes to try to celebrate with somebody it gets thrown out of whack somehow and don't let them be thinking about possibly having sex or you know doing something passionate together oh hell no he ain't with that shit with this moon card he immediately does something to mess with the balance 222 two, two on the phone okay like she's balanced and then he'll do something to throw her out of whack things will be going good with whoever she's dealing with and then he'll he'll do something to cause an issue or problem or some type of confusion like he'll make her think that the guy doesn't want her and the guy does want her, but then she'll start behaving towards the guys that she doesn't want him, which makes him think that she don't, which causes him to start treating her like a five of pentacles, okay? Treating her like she's some type of crutch or burden, some type of bad spot or mark. He puts in a lot of work to do this, okay? A lot of work I picked up on this Saturday we have the Queen of Swords and I'm telling you this is an ex lover of his this is somebody this this is who this Queen of Swords is she's an ex lover of this King of Swords that's why they're coming out as each other's match but in opposition okay it's something that she said or did to cut him down in the past when he offered love to her, that has him doing all of this spiritual manipulation now. This man might be burning candles on this woman. It's something, y'all. What else? We have the Eight of Swords. I'm telling you, he's doing something to try to keep her stuck. That's crazy. What else, Holy Spirit? We have the Page of Swords. I feel like he saw something that maybe what I'm getting is that she wasn't really publicizing being with anyone. It's, it was appearing that this woman, his ex, was not with anybody, okay? But it's something he saw that let him know. I feel like she's very, what do you call it? I ain't going to say confidential. But it's not for everybody to know what this Queen of Swords does. That's also why she's coming out as a Queen of Swords. She's very discreet, very 
you know, everybody not going to know her business, okay? And I feel like he found out something about her business. He found out that she was dating people. It's something like that here, which, which triggered him, okay? This man was triggered. They may possibly have had a family together before they broke up. But he feels like, you know, whatever he saw, he feels like she can do better than she was doing with him. And he wants to stop her. He wants to hold her back from manifesting whatever this is. This Ten of Cups is giving me like maybe it's a shark, it's a stepdaddy shark. Do, 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 do. Okay. In the house, he done seen that maybe she got somebody that's going to take his place and complete this Ten of Cups energy for her. All right, because now she coming out as a queen of pentacles. So it's making me feel like 555 on the phone that she's trying to manifest positive changes for herself. And these changes may include another energy in her vibe, in her ten of cups. It's like, that's what I'm picking up here. He ain't out here yet. But I'm definitely picking up that it's somebody else out there in the cut that he then found out about his ex is dealing with. We have the Ten of Wands. He wants this woman to walk away from whoever this is that she's been manifesting in her life. I feel like she has been manifesting a new partner in her life and she finally got one, okay? And so it's like now he wants to keep her stuck and bound to him because she's actually been successful in trying to recreate a love for her life that's what i'm getting and i feel like she's been very discreet about it yep we have the queen of cups and the six of cups this woman has not let people know that she really has a lot of love for this other energy that she's been giving some of herself to okay this is a mother here this is somebody who possibly does have children that she takes care of that she has to provide for and rear but she has started giving some of her time away to this other energy here because she has love for him as well. This King of Swords was not expecting this vibe type of vibe from this Queen of Swords. I feel like she's not a very loving person, okay? Like, he's he's he is very... Look, what came out? Nine of Pentacles and the Lovers. Whoever this new guy is... He has transformed this Queen of Swords, a normally cold, you know, cutthroat type of individual into a Nine of Pentacles. This love choice. I'm that's what he saw. He saw he saw her change and evolve into this different woman. And he know that it's a man tapping that and loving that and nurturing that, okay, and caring for that the way that she has evolved. That's what it is. That's what he saw, y'all. And it's got him in regret. So now he's trying to block whoever this lover love choice is. Whoever this lover is that has made this Queen of Swords evolve into who she is, he's trying to block them from celebrating. I can't make it up. We got the Seven of Wands, and then we got the Four of Wands right behind that. She was trying to keep this from him. She did not want her ex to know that she had then met somebody new and that they were possibly considering starting a life together. She wanted this man to think she was single, y'all. Mm. Why, Holy Spirit? She did hide this, but he found out about it. And maybe she knew that if he found out about it, he would try to ruin it somehow. Oh, and he trying to do that, child, because I'm telling you, I picked up on that heavy spell work. And it's out here. We got, look, Seven of Swords. Okay? But I feel like this Seven of Swords speaks to both of their energy. She was trying to keep her love life a secret from him. So she was, you know, plotting and scheming and moving how she needed to move to keep that a secret. Okay? And he... In return, once he found out, he been plotting and scheming, trying to figure out how he can stop her from being this Queen of Cups, Nine of Pentacles energy and having this Four of Wands with this love choice here. 
What else, Holy Spirit? What's going to happen with this, God? What's happening with this energy? We have the two of wands. So he been plant, he been plotting and he been planning. That's what the seven of swords and this two of wands tells me. But she been plotting and she been planning too. Because this is who she loved, y'all. This king of cups, he coming out as her match. This is her new match. This is somebody that she really does have feelings for, that she cares for. And she's not going to give him up because her ex don't like it. Okay, she she left that behind already with this Eight of Cups energy here. And she moved forward to a new destination with this, this chariot card. Okay, she manifested a new love for herself. But she tried to hide it because she this damn King of Swords is giving crazy and deranged a little bit because he definitely is doing spell work on his ex now that he knows that She's in love with this King of Cups energy and wants to move forward with him. But it's she. It's like she knew that he was going to act up if he found out. She knew he was going to be in the Nine of Wands and was going to start some shit with his strength card. Be very persistent and trying to have her in the Nine of Swords if he found out that she was receiving any type of happiness or satisfaction in her life with this Nine of Cups. Okay? She knew that. She knew that her ex was going to flip out. Mm. What else, Holy Spirit? What else do you want us to know about this energy here? We have the two of swords. That's why I'm telling y'all she, she tried to keep it. She tried to keep it. I just keep hearing discreet. She was very discreet. She cut this King of Swords out of her life. And she started manifesting the life that she wanted. 12-12 on the phone. And she met this King of Cups energy and fell in love with him. And they really seem like they're trying to move on together. Like possibly have a high level of commitment with each other. Okay. But this King of Swords is trying to end that for her. He is. <clears throat> what else, Holy Spirit? What's going to happen with this? And I feel like when my throat chakra just acting up like that, I feel like she, she wants to let him know that she does have a new partner that she's committing to. But she knows that he's going to do something heinous like what he's already doing. I don't think she realizes that he knows now. This King of Pentacles energy is this King of Cups. He may be an emperor of some kind, okay? Because he definitely has, has pulled the Empress energy out of this Queen of Swords. I feel like when she left this King of Swords, she evolved. Okay, she she manifested she wanted something different for herself, she wanted something better for her life, and she manifested that and she manifested her a whole emperor. This man that she's with now is an emperor. Okay, but she's been trying to appear single to this to her ex. I'm telling you, they got kids together. It's something he does still. Maybe she didn't want him to start. It's something here. The ace, ooh, the ace of Swords was on the bottom. I'm telling you, it's something about their arrangement that they have with their children. With this Sun card here, that's what it's giving me. It's giving me that that she did. Maybe she they agreed for her not to have another man around the kids. It's something like that here with the kids, and this is why she was trying to keep her relationship a secret but the secret is out now okay and this king of swords ain't having it he ain't having it, fearing it, fearing it. look here she go i'm telling y'all this woman has evolved but she still got a little bit of that karmic cycle that knight of swords energy trying to rush at her 1441 on the phone because she is afraid of her of her ex she's afraid of him knowing that she wants to start a new life elsewhere. She she doesn't know how to communicate this to him. 
because she fears that it's going to be an issue. But honey, it's too late. That man already know, child. He already know. He can. He saw it in you. He saw it in you now. He saw how you had an evolve evolved into this ace of pentacles energy and he know he didn't wasn't responsible for that he knew you was cold and mean and nasty and bitter and hateful even when y'all was together child you wasn't happy he couldn't he couldn't pull a smile out of you but that last time y'all met to go pick up them meet to pick the kids up to exchange the children okay he saw that glow in you this your ass Okay, he saw that glow in you. He was like, damn, she, what's she doing new? She done make some passionate, erratic moves in her life to be glowing and looking like that and giving off that vibe and energy. This is what this King of Swords said. He realized that you had been collaborating with somebody else, okay? He realized that you had been accepting another lover's offer, which had evolved into an Ace of Cups because it ain't no way that you damn glowing like you glowing and have evolved into an empress unless you have met an emperor, okay? And he know that shit. So now he's taking these bold ass risks. I'm getting candle magic. This man ain't did nothing more than probably go to an affinities inn and get him some of them damn $5 candles and shit, them $20 candles, whatever, and burning up some shit. That's what I'm getting from him, okay? <laughs> he ain't doing too much more than that. He might have Googled some damn spells, some shit to say. But he ain't doing too much more than that. But he definitely is trying to cause a tower. He definitely is trying to cause heartbreak between this emperor and this empress. I mean, but I, if my, I'm going to just keep it a book. If I was a man and I had been with a woman and we broke up, and I watched her move on with our children with another man. And she has just evolved into this beautiful pinnacle, this ace. But she never, ever shined like that when she was with me. Okay, 17, 17 on the phone. I would feel some type of way too. I wouldn't resort to no damn spell work. But I would feel hurt that she was having such a victory elsewhere when... When she was putting in work with you, she couldn't make nothing shake. She, I'm telling you, this lady was bitter. Her roots was her roots was drying up with this motherfucker, this King of Swords. That's why she didn't want him in her business. She didn't want him to know what she had going on because she it's something about his energy when it interacts with hers. Okay, but when she interact with this emperor, she they they had a whole ten of pentacles. Okay. They vibe is all the way on point. I'm telling y'all, this man, he, he helped this woman evolve into the empress that she is. And her ex can't stand it. He can't stand it, y'all. Anything else, Holy Spirit? 1818, when I just had looked up, too. Anything else you want us to know about this, Holy Spirit? Is, this, is he going to be successful? I don't think we got that answer yet. We see what he trying to do. We got the devil. We see how obsessive and toxic he is being. How he's trying to change fate. But I just don't feel like we got the high, we had the devil, the high priestess, and the damn seven of cups, and the five of swords right behind that. But right behind that, y'all, we got the star. And I just feel like this star is saying that despite this energy of him trying to manipulate the situation, spiritually manipulate the situation, definitely with this high priestess, seven of cups and five of swords, because he's mad, because he don't want this woman to be happy, 1919 on the phone, God not going to let that go. These people are still going to be together and she's still going to be able to accept this love off offer from this emperor, okay? That's what I'm getting. Because God see, look, God is this hermit energy. He he see what this um, king of swords is doing and he's going to shine the light on his antics. He better stop fucking around before he lose his whole family, his kids too. Because the vibe I'm getting from this emperor is he want us to take them all and make them, make them his own. Okay? 
it's some children involved in this situation. But that man don't care. He want a higher form of commitment with this empress here. And anybody that comes with her, he happily and willingly will accept them into his life. Okay? Any final messages? So I don't feel like God is going to allow this king of swords to ruin that for her with this ten of swords here. He gonna end up getting this ten of swords energy on his back if he don't chill out. That's the vibe I am getting. So, King of Swords, if you're listening, it's time for you to do some reflection and reevaluation. Reconsider if this is really the move, move that you should be making because this woman is the mother of your children. Okay? You, don't, you shouldn't be doing anything that would cause her to have any type of issues, delays, problems, sickness, anything. Because, see... You doing candle magic. He doing candle magic, y'all. Keep hearing candle magic. You doing candle magic, thinking that you're going to get a certain outcome, but you don't know how whatever you're burning is going to affect your counter, your ex. 2112 on the phone. She not your counterpart no more. She no longer wants your love, okay? She wants to move on and be with somebody else with this two of cups so maybe you should learn how to move on to calmer waters as well all right before a judgment gets passed on you for this energy that you're pu pushing towards her and this love of her life this is what i'm getting i'm getting that y'all i'm getting that she met her divine counterpart she came up out of that karmic energy and she met her divine counterpart when she left this king of swords alone and he is damn livid he is livid y'all okay but he gonna have to get the fuck over it because god see him i'm telling y'all god with that star card and this hermit card god is about to shine a light on this king of swords antics and it's going to cause him to miss out on more than this queen of swords emperor who has evolved into this empress it may cause him to lose out on a relationship with his children so he just need to be careful. I am picking that up. I'm hearing that. 22, 22 on the phone, okay? So I think I'm going to close the reading here. I hope this message helps someone. But always remember, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Please only take what resonates and leave the rest, y'all. And I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.